Hi everyone, my name is Rahul and in this video we are going to learn about bar plots. So how to generate a bar plot using matplotlib, then uh, the pandas in build method and c1 library. So when do we need a bar plot? So bar plots are usually useful when we would like to explore the relationship between a categorical and a numerical variables. And I will just start with uh, from scratch how these bars are being bu built uh, using uh, one concept is called uh, patches or uh, that is a concept in which matplotlib patches or rectangles how this built using this rectangle objects so we'll start with this and once we uh, have that idea that how the bars are built in matplotlib then we will proceed with advanced such a plotting uh, tools that comes directly with matplot uh, under matplotlib library also with the pandas uh, library and we also explore this using this such a c1 library so before we'll start we need to install and import uh, certain libraries like numpy pandas and then matplotlib and c1 so here we are importing the numpy as np pandas as pd the matplotlib the pyplot module is plt and the c bonus as sns so let's start this uh, let's instantiate this uh, environment and now it's it is active so we'll start with the basic bar plot how this rectangular patch objects or these rectangles are being used to, to generate these plots or these bars so to do that we will start uh, importing uh, the uh, rectangle method so from this uh, matplotlib.patches so this matplotlib.patches uh, has this as a rectangle object we can import that and after that we will again instantiate this subplots method so i i hope you have watched my first video if you uh, did not then i will definitely uh, recommend you to watch that where i have already discussed about this subplots such a method how this generates the, the subplots uh, and returns this figure and access objects. Here I will directly show you the uh, this here using this PLT that is our pi plot that we have imported using alias PLT. So from PLT we will uh, uh, from PLT we will have to take out or call this uh, subplots method. And here I will not provide any as a figure size and, and it returns a figure object and access object. So we'll save this in figure and access. Next, what we'll do that the rectangle method that we have imported from matplotlib.patches. So we will use that. So this rectangle method actually takes such a various arguments like first one is xy coordinates, then width, then height of the bar or rectangle here. So here the x in first case in rectangle, we are giving a uh, xy coordinate 0 0.1 and 0, then width is 0.2 and height is 0.9. In second case, uh, the coordinate x and y are 0 0.5 and 0, then 0 0.2 width and 0 0.5 height. Next, once we have this rectangle objects, we need to imp impose those objects over the axis. So axis, we can do this, uh, do, do that using this axis dot, axis dot the add patch method. And inside that we will provide this first rectangle. And again, over the axis is the same method, but now we are providing the second object, rectangle two. And if we run that, it will generate this, uh, rectangles or bars so if you see that it has a width of 0 0.2 it starts from the first bar starts from 0 0.1 and go up to point up to 0 0.2 width second bar starts from a rectangle starts from 0 0.5 and goes up to uh, width of 0 0.2 and the height of the first one is 0 0.9 up to 0 0.9 and second one 0 0.5 so once we have this uh, uh, bar plot or from the scratch uh, you might be wondering how would I know that uh, what about this rectangle object we are using, well, what different arguments it contains, this method actually. So you can also use a help method and supply, supply this rectangle and it will give you the idea that it contains the x, y, width, height, angle and additional keyword arguments. Okay, so x height is this one, width is this one, x, y coordinate position it starts from this here, uh, from here and it also takes such an angle. Uh, if you go for this angle, so you can change the angle of the bars or rectangle. So next, 
once we have imposed those uh, bars over the access object, which is, you might be wondering that whether this access object contains those such patches or those rectangles. So we can access this, uh, that using this access dot patches attribute, and it will show that that access dot artist list of two patches. Okay, so it contains two patches or two rectangles. Now, next, I will uh, try to uh, modify some of the properties of those patches. Uh, let's such a, uh, just change the uh, second bar's color to red. So how we will do that? We will access the patch object. The first because it is uh, Python is a zero index based language. So here we are providing one. That means the second bar, zero one. And next we are using the set method, set color. Here we are supplying the red and again calling the figure object. And it will uh, now it is showing that it is the second bar is in red color. The color has been changed. To red. Next, this is a very uh, well-defined method. But from building, uh, if you want to know how these uh, these bars are being built while calling this uh, calling the bar plot method or uh, or whatever the method that matplotlib or C1 offers, it is very much useful for learning the scratch uh, how from scratch how it builds it from scratch. But uh, when our number of bars or number of data points increases, so then how we will do that? We, we, this would be very much tedious doing every time calling this rectangle and adding this patch. Instead of we can directly use the access, uh, some methods that already access object offers. So here I will show you that how we can use this X and Y as a list and supply it to access object, access such method called bar. So again, we are in, Instantiating this uh, subplots method, it will return figure and axis object. Then what we'll do, we will create a list of x values and y values. Y would be the height, and x would be the x position, where from where 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 it will let impose those bars. Okay, so we can directly call the bar method from the axis object axis dot bar. Okay, and here we will provide the x and y, and it will directly generate the bars. So at position zero. At x, it is height one. At one, it is height three, like that. Okay. So next, you might be again wondering that whether this access object again contains those patches. So we can you access the patches using this access dot patches attributes, and it shows that five patches. It contains five patches. One, two, three, four, five. Let's change this to the fourth, uh, fourth uh, bar or patch, and the color. I'm talking about color. Let's change the color to red of this fourth bar. And to do that, again, we will have to access the, that patch. That patch exists at as Python 0 index base. So 0, 1, 2, 3 at 3 such index. This bar exists. So from axis.patches 3, and we will set the color to red. And if I call the figure object, then you can see that third object color has been changed to red. Next. Uh, now we have idea that how does these bars are being built uh, uh, from the scratch, and you have that idea that it uses such a in background this patch objects called rectangle. And now we will be uh, pro uh, will proceed with a real world data set called such a tips data set, and I will show you different style of which plotting the data like matplotlib styles, then pandas inbuilt method, and also C1 method. So this let's such a read this data set. This data set also comes such a pre-built with uh, Cborn. You can if you have installed the Cborn, you can directly call that. You can search for it. How to call? Uh, how to import the data from Cborn library? Because and here we will. I have downloaded that, and I will directly load this using pandas such a read underscore csv from my directory data sets. The tips dot csv file. Okay, and save into tips. If I print this for uh, uh, top observations, top four observations. Then these are this, these are the variables and values. So this tips data set it is a it is a data set has regarding a a restaurant visit that how uh, the different groups that visited a restaurant. What are the total bill amount they have paid or they uh, and what is the tip amount given by them then. What is the sex? Who has paid the tip? Then smoker status, day, whether it is a Sunday, Saturday, like that, and time, whether it's for dinner, uh, whether it was dinner time or lunch time, then the size of the group. So instead of directly just showing a random uh, data set, I thought I will uh, go with this tips data set. It is very familiar data set. You can apply to your own data set also once you learn the 
these such a, uh, mechanisms of plotting bars, bar plots, or generating bar plots. So here, instead of just uh, plotting the raw values, what I want to do, I would like to see that uh, whether there is a uh, what is what would be the sex y such a smoker proportion for each sex category. What would be the smoker proportion? Okay. So how many females are smoker or non-smoker? How many males are smoker and non-smoker? I, I would like to compare that. Okay. So we can estimate that, but for uh, first time talking about this matplotlib style, so uh, the dodge bar plot. So dodge bar plot is nothing but it will uh, compare this uh, smoker and non-smoker category for each group of say male and female side by side. Okay. So I will show you soon that how it will look like. Before that, for matplotlib original case, I have to prepare the data in a specific way. Okay. It directly don't uh, don't uh, you can't just supply the direct uh, raw pandas data. Though C1 accept that, which I will show you uh, later. So first we need to compute that what would be the sex y is a smoker proportion. To do that, first we'll take the tips data set, then we will use the group by and group the data based on sex. So you can imagine in a virtual space that uh, the data now been segregated based on sex. The male data is separate and female data separate. And from each data group, you can also add an identifier. Here I am separating in virtual space just for uh, imagining that that would be easy to imagine actually. So from each data set that is for male and female data set, uh, we are now taking out the smoker column. And again, for from each data set after taking the smoker column, we are applying this value count. How many are smoker? How many are non-smoker? So it will count that value. And then I am applying this normalized. So it will change it to proportion. And I'm multiplying it with 100, rounding it to 2. And I'm also unstacking it. If I don't unstack it, what will happen? It will give you as a multi-index, like for female category and male category, how many are as a non-smoker, how many are smoker, the proportions. And I don't want in this multi-index, but I rather want it in, as a data frame. So unstack. So it will provide this unstack. It will show that the smoker, no RS category in column and sex and their categories as a in row index and smoker, no S as a column index. Okay. So next I, what I'll do, I, I need some specific details that I need to provide to generate that plot. Okay. So from df.index, what are the index? This female and male, I will saving in a label. And again, in using the np.arrange, the length, I am providing the label inside the length argument. So it will show that how many observations are, uh, how many values are there inside this such index uh, or this label. And I'm printing this too. So the first label contains this female and male, and this x contains this 0 and 1. So, so next, what we'll do, we need to first generate the bars. Okay, this is a stack, uh, uh, the, uh, this is a dodged bar plots. So first again, I have, we need to instantiate this subplot method. Here I'm also providing the figure size, eight by six inches, so eight width and six height, and the return object are saved in figure and axis. So next I'm defining the width of the bars. What would be the width? Uh, that is 0 0.2 here, I'm defining. And to create the rectangles, first rectangle I will create for this, such a no column, and sec rec second rectangles I will create for this S column, okay. So for no column, first x, we are using the axis.bar method. Then we are providing this x. Okay. So x is here, this uh, value, this x, that is 0, 1. Then defining the, uh, then providing this y value, that is such a df, do, df under such a df data frame, the no column. Then width is equal to width, label also or identifier is no, and h color is black. Similarly, for rectangle 2, I am providing it's, everything is same, just I am providing now here the yes column. And if I enter that, what will happen? Just try to look and try to see what is wrong here. So what happened here that the blue bar and this orange bars are overlapped one over another. But we don't want this, uh, we want is dodge bar plots. In dodge bar plots, this orange and this blue bar should be side by side. Okay. So this to to do to achieve this that orange bar and this blue bar should be in side by side standing together we have to shift this orange bar by 0 0.1 in the right side and this blue bar 0 0.1 in the left side that way it will be uh, centering at zero it will this orange bar uh, orange bar would be in right side and this blue bar would be uh, will be in left side 
to do that everything is different now what we are doing instead of x we are dividing from this uh, blue bar we are sending it to left side so this we are deducting point 1 so we was such a point 2 and we are dividing by 2 and deducting from x and similarly we have to shift this orange bar to the right that's why i'm adding this such a width by 2 or point 1 here and now if i plot this you can see that centering at 0 it is the blue bar in the left side and this uh, orange bar in the right side similarly for here in this case but the problem is that we don't need, need uh, don't want this uh, level these levels are not what we want it should be saying female or male okay so we have to reset that to reset that we can call this axis dot set x ticks and then we provide this x to convert it to a numerical single value like 0 and 1 and if i again plot the figure you can see that now it is 0 and 1 still it is not correct next we will what what we'll do we will change this x tick, x tick level so axis we are uh, use this such a set x tick levels and we are providing these levels levels were the uh, uh, levels are uh, this female and male okay so if i print this so now you can see this here female here male now it is almost okay uh, we have got something so next thing is that once we have this plot we would like uh, sometimes we want to add some much levels like what would be the what would be this such a blue bar level what would be this orange bar level so we would we might want to add some labels that will provide us a better information uh, like height information here. so this information is stored under each patch we have already discussed about this patch that this rectangles this rectangle object contains a, this width coordinate height everything so let's see how what are the patches it contains so number of patches it contains okay so axis dot patches now you can see that access such artist list of which four patches because it has four patches one two three four you can count them let's say i want to get the zeroth patch or zeroth rectangles this bar what would be the height of that so axis dot patches from that we are selecting the zeroth index bar and we are apply also adding a get height method it will provide us the height so height is 62.07 okay so 62.07 is for if you go to this 62.07 huh, is for female no okay so that means female no case mm, female no this blue bar okay similarly if i uh, here able to get this one bar such bars height we can iterate through each bar and get the height okay so let's iterate through each patch and get the height so for uh, here i am applying a for loop for p in axis dot patches and i'm printing this such a p dot to get height uh, using the dot get height method for each p i'm printing the height so it will provide 62.07 61.78 37.93 38.22 so what is the order in which it is providing so first is providing the height for this blue bar then this blue bar then this orange bar then this orange bar so it would be 0 1 2 3 in this order it is actually plotting the height so next thing i, I would like to have this height information over the patch object every patch object or every rectangle i would like to add this as a height information how will we do that we similarly iterate through each patch and use the axis dot annotate method it will help to add a text or this annotate a value that we would like to add over the bar so axis dot annotate inside that i'm taking this p object each patch and use, using dot get height we are getting the height converting it to st using str to a string so that we can add a percentage symbol so here is a percentage then so so this annotate method first takes that means the annotate method first takes this uh, uh, that label that we want to add with percentage then it also we have to also give this x y coordinate where it will place this actually so uh, the place will be uh, the x y coordinate will be first we have to give the x so x information we can get, get from the patch so p dot h get x and the height information will get from height so p dot get height 
to position it properly over the uh, over the bars proper at proper middle position at a certain spacing so here i have added a with the x spacing i have added 0 0.03 and for y i have added 1 next i am saving it to a temporary variable with t and again i am altering some properties of this t or annotated levels t dot set color is black and size is 14 if i now run this it will show that the labels have been added at a particular spacing uh, overall at the middle position you can adjust that by changing this x y coordinate this values that additional values i have added next you can see that this uh, this top and uh, uh, sometimes i don't like this actually this top and right side spines sometimes it cuts off over uh, cuts or impose directly over the values or it is sometimes not needed so if you would like to remove this you can use access the spines it's okay so to remove that and to modify certain properties like tick levels access levels such a, next we will do that okay so to remove the spines you have to first iterate through the spine so here i am i want to remove this top line and top spine and this bottom uh, right line or the right spine so here in a list top and right i am iterating through this top and right i am saving an s and then axis dot spines and supplying this s object the first would be uh, this s will be top then se then second it will be right and setting the visibility using the set visible false next what I, I would like to also change this tick level size their position uh, size and uh, rotation okay so let's say i would like to change this x tick levels size to, i would like to increase it to 14 and say the rotation will be 45 degree In the, now it is the rotation is zero so you can do that using axis dot as a tick params here axis equal to x i would like to change only for x axis you can also give the both or y if you would like to change for the y or if you provide here the both then it will change apply for uh, apply in x and y in both axes so level size is 14 level rotation is 45 degree i would like to rotate this female and male level to 45 degree then i am also setting the y level y level to percentage and size 14 and x level to sex and uh, x level to sex and it's 14 and if i print this figure now you can see that the top and bottom spines spines are gone and this levels are at 45 degree and the size has been increased the x level is sex y level is percentage Next thing is uh, still we don't have any identifier which one is smoker status no and which one which bar represents the smoker status yes so we have to add that for that we have to call the legend axis dot a legend and here we are providing the font size to 12 title is smoker and title font size 18 and i'm also positioning it by default the uh, this this length for x and y it is 0 to 1 so imagine that this starts from 0 and goes up to 1 this is starts from 0 goes up to 1 in x and y direction and to position this legend at the middle what i have to do i have to call the legend axis from axis this legend underscore and also i have to use the set v box to anchor where i would like to anchor that uh, box or this legend box so here in x direction 0 0.6 and y direction 0 0.5 so around here and ar around here actually and if i again plot this now you can see that the smoker the title and no and yes no this blue bars and yes is orange bars okay now our plot is ready once your plot is ready what you will do you will like to import it in a particular format that you would like so i'm use i always during saving use this uh, try to use this to try and accept clause it will it is handy okay so i mix uh, create some spacing here so I import this os library and then use this try where it will try to create a generative folder or directory images where I, we will save this such image so os.make directory mkdir and images and while trying if it found that this directory already exists then it will go for this accept clause and where it print the directory already exists okay so for saving a figure the figure object contains a method called save figure inside that i'm providing that that inside this images folder save this plot as a dodged bar plot dot png and dpi should be 300 so now it's showing that the directory already exists and uh, it has saved uh, the plot you can also go to the images directory 
dot bar plot dot png. Now this is a bar at 300 dpi. Uh, this plot bar plot at 300 dpi saved in this directory. Similarly, for uh, if you want to use a uh, if you have a data frame and you would like to use the pandas inbuilt plot method, you can also do that. The same bar we can generate using this method also. The same way I have already showed that how to prepare the data. So in uh, column index would be for smoker no yes and row index would be sex such a for sex such female and male. Okay, and we'll be using this to generate using uh, this panda style. So we will again instantiate this uh, uh, pl using plt dot subplots the subplot method and figure size ten by four and here the figure and axis object. It will return figure and axis object. So now what we'll do? We'll take this df that the final data frame this one. And inside this data frame object contains this is a plot method dot plot. Okay. And inside that you have to this by default actually this dot uh, dot plot method generates a line plot. But here we don't need a line plot, but rather we uh, we want a bar plot. So in the kind argument you have to provide this bar. Then axis equal to axis. This uh, over this axis we would like to impose that plot and h color equal to black. So what will it do? It will directly generate the framework for the plot. It also provides you this uh, identifier or uh, legend. So here you can see this female and male, they are vertical at 90 degree. You may want that to be uh, horizontal. We will change that. We have at least uh, received or got this our uh, framework. And now we will remove the spines, increase or change the size of this uh, uh, tick, tick levels and also increase the x and y axis, uh, also change this x and y axis level, increase their size, also uh, modify this such a smoker, uh, this legend properties. So all these things are same. Uh, all these things are same actually. Okay. So how we'll do that? The adding label method is same, spine removal method is same like matplotlib. Then, then adding or changing the x or adding this x and y level, changing the tick parameter is also same. Then legend method is similar, and also the fixing the, the, of this such a legend to middle position or here it is also same with changing the title to smoker capital starting with capital S. And if I run that, you'll there you'll see that this is also generated the same. Uh, Plot, but here we will use to the mat, uh, pandas in build plot map for plotting this bar or dodge bar, bar plot. Okay. So next, same thing we will try to achieve with the C bond style. But in C bond style, the thing is here it will not take the data in this format where sex in row index and smoker status in y index column. Uh, okay. So here it will uh, in uh, C bond based method, we have to create a, another column called a proportion or other any name you can uh, you want to name it. So another column, but that column should contain the proportions for each combin uh, each co uh, combination like for just sex male and smoker status. Yes, what is the proportion sex females smoker status in yes, what is the proportion similar for uh, uh, like female yes no like that. Okay. So to do that, again, we okay. need to take the tips data set, then group by sex, separate the data set based on male and female, then take out the smoker column, then count the values for the smoker, normalize it, then multiply with 100, rename it to percentage. So new column that will generate, it will be, should be given a name percent. We will use this reset index. This reset index, what it does, it, uh, it actually uh, reset the index and also add, 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 it to, add it to the data frame as a column. And round it to two decimal places. So now you can see that sex <coughs> smoker status like per female, no, fem and this percentage is another column 62.07, female yes, and this power proportion, and male and female for male case, such a no and yes proportion. So we directly take this as a data frame and supply it to the C bond. To generate a dodged bar plot in C bond, you have to uh, use this as a cat plot method. Okay, so cat plot means categorical plot method. Okay, similarly for continuous data, I guess such a relational plot exists uh, for C1. 
From C1, we'll call, call this cat, uh, cat plot. Then in X axis, we are providing sex. Y axis, we are providing this percentage values as a height for the bar. Hue color would be smoker, whether no or yes. Then kind would be bar. Data frame will be DF. This is the DF. And legend is false. So here, one, few, one thing you have noted that this cat plot, we haven't provided the axis object. Okay, we haven't instantiated this plt.subplots and we haven't provided the axis. So cat plot directly don't take that argument. So how we'll get the axis object so that we take that axis object and modify different properties. Once you run a particular plot in, a, in your environment, you can directly take out the axis and figure object using this two method of that plot. Okay, so plt.gca that means plt.get current axis information and save into axis and plt.gca get current figure so figure information and say we are saving it to infig so now we have this axis and figure object if i run that now this is a plot you can see the plot and the axis and figure object has been retrieved for that plot and save under uh, uh, save in axis and figure next what we'll do we'll take this uh, plot and we'll try to modify same way so here the same plot and again we are taking out the axis and figure object then in, again we are adding the label changing the x adding the x and y level changing the tick parameters properties then adding the legend and resetting the figure size using the set size inches method why we are resetting the figure because uh, this cat plot method doesn't take the axis object which also contains the figure size information uh, so if i generate the plot it will uh, plot with a default size and to change that we have to uh, reset the figure size and to do that you have to use this figure object that we have retrieved using this plt.gcf and uh, using this figure we have to use this set underscore size underscore inches method and supply the uh, width and height information here i'm providing eight inch width and four inch height and if i run this code you can see this uh, the plot is little bit wider compared to the earlier plot. The so these are the ways you can uh, generate a dodged bar plot or bar plot from scratch. So I hope you have learned how to generate a bar plot from scratch using matplotlib. Once you know the matplotlib style, you can change any or customize any properties, any part of it. You can access to the class information you will get different methods attributes you can change anything in you can do any customization i hope it is useful for you and you can also apply to your own data set and thanks for watching